Money Madness by D. H. Lawrence. Context. Money Madness was written by D. H. Lawrence during early 20th century, a time marked by industrialization, economic disparity, and post World War I repercussions. Lawrence's personal experiences, growing up in a working class family, influenced his perspective on money and society. He criticized the materialistic values of the modern world and explored themes of human relationships, nature, and the impact of industrialization in his works. Themes Collective Money Madness The poem explores the collective money madness surrounding money within society. Lawrence argues that the relentless pursuit of wealth and the valuation of individuals based on their financial worth creates a fearful and cruel power dynamic among people. This collective money madness leads to an unhealthy preoccupation with money, affecting both how people treat others and perceive themselves. Fear of Poverty and Degradation Lawrence delves into the fear of poverty and the consequences it brings. The poem vividly depicts the humiliation and degradation associated with poverty, symbolized by the metaphor of eating dirt. This fear of destitution drives individuals to cling to money and pursue financial security, perpetuating the money madness. Critique of Materialism The poet critiques the materialistic values prevailing in society, where the possession of wealth is equated with one's worth. He advocates for re-evaluation of societal values, urging readers to prioritize compassion and the welfare of all over the relentless pursuit of money. Impact on Human Behavior Lawrence examines how money influences human behavior, creating a sense of superiority or inferiority based on financial status. The poem suggests that this distorted perception of worth based on wealth contributes to the madness surrounding money and leads to cutthroat competition and a lack of empathy. Analysis Money Madness Money is our madness, our vast collective madness, and of course, if the multitude is mad, the individual carries his own grain of insanity around with him. In this section, Lawrence introduces the concept of money madness, describing it as the vast collective madness of mankind. He suggests that even on an individual level, people carry their own grain of insanity when it comes to money. Fear of money I doubt if any man living hands out a pound note without a pang, and a real tremor if he hands out a ten pound note. We quail. Money makes us quail. It has got us down. We grovel before it in strange terror. The poet delves into the fear and trepidation associated with money. He emphasizes its power to control and manipulate people, leading them to grovel before it in strange terror. Collective Money Madness And no wonder, for money has a fearful, cruel power among men. It is not money 
we are terrified of. It is the collective money madness of mankind. For mankind says with one voice, how much is he worth? Has he no money? Then let him eat dirt and go cold. This section further delves into the collective money madness, criticizing society's valuation of individuals based on their wealth. Lawrence condemns the mistreatment of those with no money and the cruel judgments based on financial status. The fear of poverty And if I have no money, they will give me a little bread so I do not die, but they will make me eat dirt with it. I shall have to eat dirt, I shall have to eat dirt if I have no money. The poet expresses his fear of poverty and the consequences it brings, emphasizing the desperation and humiliation that poverty entails. Misplaced importance of money. It is that that I am frightened of and that fear can become a delirium. It is fear of my money-mad fellow men. We must have some money to save us from eating dirt. And this is all wrong. Bread should be free. Shelter should be free. Fire should be free. To all and anybody. All and anybody. All over the world. Lawrence challenges the prevailing mindset that places excessive importance on money. He advocates for essential resources like bread, shelter and fire to be freely accessible to all, irrespective of their financial status. Regaining Sanity About Money We must regain our sanity about money before we start killing one another about it. It's one thing or the other. In the final section, the author urges society to reconsider its approach to money, emphasizing the need to prioritize compassion and humanity over the relentless pursuit of wealth. He warns of the potential for violence and bloodshed if the money madness persists. This is what he wants to say in the last line. It is one thing or the other. Either we mend our ways or there would be bloodshed and violence. Conclusion Money Madness by D. H. Lawrence serves as a profound critique of the collective money madness prevailing in society. The poem urges readers to reevaluate their priorities and regain sanity about money, emphasizing the importance of compassion and equality over the relentless pursuit of wealth. Lawrence's exploration of the fear of poverty, the impact of money on human behavior, and the critique of materialism highlights the damaging effects of money madness on individuals and society as a whole. So this is the poem Money Madness by D.H. Lawrence. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section and we will meet in next video with some other poem. Thank you. Bye-bye.